Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to the For Rent Let's Play. So we are actually furnishing this apartment building completely with gameplay. So I have this area right here, which is the laundry room slash activity room. And it's basically the, at the entranceway. We have a fabricator, a woodworking table, and a little bit of entertainment as well as recycling. So in this area, we are basically making a lot of furniture. And of course we're doing dumpster diving and I have a public bathroom at the end of this hall. So here is a shower, a sink and a toilet. And then we have finished all of the apartments down on the first floor. So I'm going to do a quick run through of all of the apartments in their current state because unfortunately I once again did not check my recording and everything was black so I did not get the actual gameplay when I made all of these changes but I really don't think it was all that interesting so I think it turned out nice but the process is just really a grind to get all of the furniture pieces the most interesting part is placing the furniture and deciding what color swatches to use. So I allow myself to change the color swatches, but I do not allow myself to buy anything directly from Build Buy, with the exception of the smoke detectors and the electrical boxes, because those have gameplay features and there's no way to get them other than through Build Buy. And I also buy the heaters and the air conditioner and then the hot water heater which is in this room over here so we have a hot water heater in here and i made the lights or stole the lights so i am also a kleptomaniac so i can steal things from other sims houses that i can't buy so here is the bathroom and we have a sink and a shower tub combo and this is not the best one but this is the first one I had in the game so that's why that one is a little bit rustic. I like the way that this kitchen is laid out so I didn't put any tiles here I just actually kept the floorboards. I might change that actually I didn't think about that. But anyway, we have the green with pops of color and the pops of color are mostly a purplish hue. I also have this maroon for the plant and then some yellow throughout. And then if you go down the hallway, we have one bedroom in here and this has bunk beds. This room is green and blue but mostly muted blue and it has some yellow in it as well. And then I made these dressers with the fabricator and I actually had some dye, which helped. And the only bad thing about doing it this way is that I don't really have too much choice when it comes to clutter. So the clutter is a little bit lacking, but it's really about the challenge of getting the swatches to match up with the different styles of the items that you find. So there's a little sitting area over here. I was going to put a bookcase back here, but the bookcase is actually over on that side of the living room. So you can take a book over here and read it. And then we have this bedroom in here, which only has a dirty double, but hey, that's what we got. And I completely forgot that I left the marriage certificate in here. Um, Yeah, so... Last time we got married and I left the marriage certificate when I moved out of this apartment. So that's where that is. And then we have a dresser and a little chair that we can sit on. So there's one final bedroom in this apartment and it's over here. This bed, I just love this bed. It has so many nice colorful swatches that it was really hard to pick one. But that's the one I ended up picking and I might need to recolor the walls in this room. I completely forgot about the walls. See, as I do these tours, I remember things that I forgot. 
and we're going to have to go and fix that later. So anyway, this room is mostly that pinkish color or pur purplish pinkish color and then the blue. So yeah, that's this apartment, which is three bedrooms and one bathroom. And then we have one across the hall. Now this apartment is a lot of blue. We have turquoise in the living dining room area. And we have an easel and a TV and a nice sitting area right here. We also have a bar in this apartment because this is actually a single person's apartment because this little room in here is not really big enough to be a bedroom. So I just put a desk in here. I did not put a computer. So I did not have a computer to give them at the time because I didn't find one. I guess I should start stealing them, but I, I don't think that my skill is high enough yet to steal computers. So this is the one bedroom. It doesn't even have a dresser. I just realized that this apartment needs some updating. I might have to come back and update it, but this is the very first apartment that I did. So that's why it's this way. And we have just the water heater in here. There's nothing else in here. And then down here we have the bathroom. So we actually have a tub and a separate shower and a sink and a toilet in here. Okay, then the two apartments at the back of the building before you go upstairs. I really like how this one turned out. So this one is a salmon and pinkish color, but you can't really tell too much because of the lighting. But I like the kitchen. It's just right here, and I actually put tile in this one. And then we have a desk with a computer because I got a computer and a living room with a TV. It's kind of cramped. Um, the space between that coffee table and the couch is really small, but that's just how it goes. So we have a chess table in here and I got a vacuum dock, but not a vacuum. I hate how when you're dumpster diving or actually, no, this was from the gifts. Okay, so I had Winterfest. And we got gifts, but unfortunately, they only gave me the robot vacuum dock, not the robot vacuum. So I just use it as like a, a decoration, basically. It's a pop of color. It's pink. And we have one bedroom in here, which is our yellow and orange bedroom. And we got a little rocking chair. And we did manage to get a little bit of decor. So there's a train, a caboose on that table. Uh, and a tassel hanging on the wall. And then the picture really doesn't fit the vibe, but it does fit the color scheme. So I just left it. All right. And the bedroom next door actually has an ensuite, but we have that bed from Love Struck. I found that in the dumpster. And then I found a couple of paintings, an end table, and then we found a dresser. So that dresser is from the vampire pack. And then here is the ensuite bathroom. This is really pretty, but I had a hard time trying to find matching tile and wallpaper. It was actually kind of annoying, but this shower is from the for rent pack, but it doesn't seem to have any matching tile. Why did they not give us this tile for bathroom tile? I don't know. They should have but they did not. So we got a squat toilet, which we stole and a sink, which we made through the woodworking skill and a mirror, which we made through the woodworking skill. And if you come back out to the main area, we can go and check on the main bathroom. So this one right here is just, oh, that's actually the main bathroom. Okay. So this one over here is just the hot water heater. And then this door is the main bathroom. So we did woodworking for this and we got a toilet, a tub, a sink, a mirror, and the light all through woodworking. And a couple of those are through mods. So I had the Little Miss Sam's more woodworking mod and that allows me to get some things through woodworking that I normally wouldn't have. 
So yeah, that is a three bedroom, two bath apartment. And for the last apartment, we have, I believe, two bedrooms and one bathroom. So this again is turquoise. I had a lot of items that seemed to go with turquoise and actually the rugs I have to have dye for. So if anything matches a rug, I tend to go with that color scheme. So this one has turquoise and pops of color that are yellow and also some neutral whites. And then here is the bathroom, again with the tile not really matching any of the wallpapers that came with for rent, but hey, you do what you can. And I do like the way that the sink and the shower matches. So it does come together a little bit. It's just that for some reason, the tile for the floor doesn't have any matching wallpaper. Okay, and this bedroom actually has a door to the bathroom or is okay this bedroom has its own bathroom oh no it's the water heater okay <laughs> i forgot i put the water heater in here because that's the space i had for it okay so anyway that's the water heater and then we have the double bed which is up against the wall that's not ideal but that's just how it is we have orange and purple in this room and like a cream color, um, that bed is just disgusting. But those are the beds you tend to find in the dumpster. I don't know, maybe I'll come back and replace all these beds with different beds. But this is just what I had. And it actually doesn't look too bad if you ignore the stains and the rips. Okay, and this is the second bedroom. It has two single beds in it and actually has a dresser. So I like this room because it has a teen vibe. This gives me maybe teen energy, even though I have the cats and the dogs on the wall. So yeah, that's that room. And that's the entire first floor done. Okay, I think that tile is better for the kitchen in this apartment. So they don't have a stove. They only have this grill. But my rule for apartments is that they need some way to cook other than just making salads. So a grill is acceptable. They can make hot dogs. They can make hamburgers. They don't really need an oven or a stove if they have a grill. You're not supposed to have grills inside, but I don't really have a lot of outdoor space. So whenever I do find a grill, it will be inside. Okay, and I think that tile floor looks much better for this kitchen. It kind of defines the kitchen area better and it matches the rest of the environment perfectly. Okay, this wallpaper is much better for this bedroom than that other wallpaper. So that's fixed. Okay, this kitchen area actually makes a lot more sense with this tile than with that rug. So it's just a kind of weird with this wastebasket off to the side. I'm not sure if I should make the kitchen area bigger or maybe I'll just shove it over here in this corner and make sure that it's actually accessible. A lot of times the Sims team will build a house and put the trash can like this and you can't use it. So I always have to make sure that it's facing the right way. And that looks really nice. If you put the walls up, you can see that the kitchen area is really defined because of the tile, especially the way it's laid out in that square. And then the rug that was over there, I actually moved back into this apartment. I'm not sure if that will mess things up or not because there's people living here. And the houndstooth rug it looks okay in there it's fine so I'm just going to leave it in that office because it didn't have a rug so that's all of my changes so let's see what our family is up to oh it looks like Stephen might be in trouble um Stephen hopefully you get into your cold weather wear it is really cold out here so this is Vanessa she is actually our wife so we have Vanessa and Zara Kimani, and she's doing push-ups right now. So it's 
time for bed. I have moved them up into the second floor, though. So, oh, yeah, a lot of stuff to fix. So we better get on that right away. Because if we don't, there will be mold. There's not a lot of lights in this room yet. Because, unfortunately, I have not made lights for this apartment. So we're going to start building out the second floor. And then we have to build out third floor and the fourth floor and then hopefully we will get enough rental income that we can purchase the building that I really want so this is charity thanks for watching <laughs>